for me, uh, uh, I will always remember that occasion when I heard um, Lee Morgan, the trumpet player, play Blue Train on the John Coltrane record. And then he just took the, it's a 12 bar blues. That was like 2007, I was in my room back then, uh, in, my, in the flat, HTV flat. Um, uh, then I just blasted it, because <laughs> it was so good. And then Lee Morgan took a solo, and then that was, that, that was it for me. Like, uh, I just was so curious, I'm always curious about uh, how do they, it's not just the notes itself, but also how do they deliver those notes. Because the, the notes are the what, but the how is also kind of like a, a lifelong journey for me. And so, um, yeah, I would recommend uh, any serious player here to check out that uh, solo that Lee Morgan took on Blue Train. The tune is called Blue Train. Why do you tell us a little bit? about how you feel uh, and how was your journey uh, from classical and straddling, still straddling the discipline of playing classical, ethnic music and playing jazz at such a proficient level? Um, well, thank you. Um, um, I think for me, the practice routine is the secret, if there's any. Um, I always go back to fundamentals. I feel that the more I connect with fundamentals, then the more I'm able to forget about it and just play the music when I'm there, and physically there, be it um, in the improvised settings or be in orchestras. And um, so um, my love for jazz, um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing to say that, but uh, it started with uh, my dad playing Kenny G's <laughs> in, in, in the car, and I was just like, wow, you know, it's, it's, it's sweet, I mean, it's, it's smooth, I guess some would call it smooth jazz, right? And um, but uh, now that now that looking back, I feel that the, the thing that really stuck with me the most is the the way you play melodies, and, uh, and the lesson for me is uh, you have to play great melodies because at the end of the day, after all the skills that you've learned and all, all of these things that that all this um, left brain stuff, you. You have to play melodies. Like uh, that's what connect with uh, people. That's what connect with musicians and connect with listeners. It's how you actually um, the way you sing. If you can connect the way you sing with how you play, then for me that's the goal. And I, I find that it's a never-ending. Um, I'm still still um, searching, still still finding finding out how to achieve that. So then I went along a, a, a journey of uh, my my dad would tell me. Um, you know, don't just stop at Kenny G. <laughs> You're going to check out, um, check out the people that came before. So then I heard uh, Sonny Rollins, also a tenor player on this album called Saxophone Colossus. Now, even though I don't play saxophone, but uh, I've always felt uh, very compelled with the tone of this instrument here called the flute. And uh, so I actually, to be honest, don't, in, 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 the, in, in the beginning, I, I don't check out a lot of jazz flute players. I checked out more like pianists and saxophones and trumpet players a lot. And then I think of I think of their execution, I think of their lines, I think of the way they leave space, and the way that they tell a story, and then I'll try to put that on my instrument with a with a nice tone hopefully. Right? So um, that's, that's always been for me a journey of uh, develop, developing my craft on the instrument on, 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 on this thing. So and then I would listen to great classical players on the flute just to hear what a nice tone can be. So people like James Galway uh, was my initial, I mean right in the beginning was my initial inspiration. But I've since moved on then, uh, I checked out a lot of French flute players, the way they play beautifully, dreamy, fantasy-like kind of tone, which is, um, I don't necessarily use that in the jazz settings, but I feel that it all informs me in many different ways when it comes to music making. So. Um, Right now, I'm still transcribing, like what he is doing, and I'm still transcribing a lot of the old school players, and uh, still searching and discovering. And I, I, I mean, at the bottom of it all, it's fun. For me, it's fun. So it has to be fun. You have to find something that connects with you, that is, that that has that joy in it, regardless of whether you decide to um, take it further or not. But if you can find an activity in it that is that really connects with you from the heart, then I think that's all good. Thank you. Thank you very much.